iOS 17 is finally here and it brings a ton of new features and changes to iOS and alongside these new features and changes there will also be new settings as well. So in today's video I will show you guys 25 different settings that you need to change immediately once you update your iPhone to the new iOS 17. And we're starting things off with the first one, head on to your settings, go under accessibility and then go to touch. Right here we'll find haptic touch. Now if you go here you will notice that now there's a new option is fast it used to be default or slow they will also have the fast option and this will make haptic touch way faster than it was before you can notice this if you use your device on daily basis with the default or the slow mode make sure you switch to the fast one and you will notice how much faster your device will respond another very welcome feature to ios 17 is the new crossfade option for the music app but you will have to enable it and to do that head on to your settings go under music and here we'll have the crossfade option now you will have a switch here to enable it and then you will have the slider which allows to set the time for the crossfade so you can go from one second up to 12 seconds right here so just choose and pick the time you want and of course make sure you have it enabled right there a pretty cool new feature is also the leveler for the camera so when you go to your camera you will see a leveler in the middle of the screen which makes Make sure that you have your camera leveled at any time you want to take a picture and you will have to enable it by going to the camera settings find it here under the grid you will have the new option for level make sure you go ahead and enable it right there now with iOS 17 Apple has introduced the new offline mode for the maps app which is really amazing now what I suggest you do is head on to your maps if you download any maps for offline use go to your profile enter your offline maps and you will have here automatic updates now of course whenever you use these offline maps you want to make sure that you have the latest ones so make sure you have it enabled right here that way your maps even though they're offline they're downloaded will be updated anytime there's a change so you will always have the latest maps downloaded on your device now if there are maps that you have downloaded but didn't use for a really long time iOS 17 can delete them for you. Now you can do that by enabling here optimized storage. Now optimized storage will make sure that it deletes the old maps that you have on your device that you haven't used for a really long time iOS 17 also brings the new name drop feature to iOS. Basically, you place two iPhones together and you can share something. You can share a contact or you can even use it for when just wanting to share something with AirDrop. Now, go to your settings, go to general right here and you will find AirDrop. And then you will have here start sharing by bringing devices together. If you want to use that feature, make sure you have it enabled right here. Otherwise, it won't work. Or if you don't want to use that feature, if you find it annoying or find maybe yourself doing that unintentionally, make sure you go ahead and disable it from here. With the new standby mode that Apple has added to iOS 17, there is also a new feature called night mode. Now, night mode, what it, what it does basically when you're on the standby mode, and you have your iPhone basically staying there during the night, it will just go to like a red tint, low ambient lighting, and you have to enable it right here. It also has another feature here called motion wake. Basically, a standby will turn on the display when it recognizes motion near it, and it will show you, of course, the screen as it should be. So you can enable both of them by going to the standby settings, and then, of course, night mode. Probably one of the most useful features of iOS 17 is the ability to lock your private tabs with your Face ID. Now finally your private tabs are actually private. So to enable that you need to go to your settings, go under Safari and scroll down here and you will find require Face ID to unlock private browsing. Make sure you have this enabled and from now on your private tabs will be locked using your Face ID. Now iOS 17 also lets you set a different search engine for your private tabs. So if you don't want to use the same search engine that you use for your non-private tabs for your private tabs and you can change that simply by going to settings safari and then you have here search engine and then you have private search engine where you can go and pick another search engine for your private tabs. Here's another setting that you need to change for Safari. So just scroll all the way down here and go to advanced. And right here, what you will have is an option for advanced tracking and fingerprint protection. Go here and make sure you have this enabled 
for all of your browsing, not just for private browsing, for all of your browsing. Basically, this will help you get away from like trackers on the internet. So make sure you just enable that so none of the websites can track you from side to side iOS 17 also brings the new live voicemail feature to iOS and you will have to enable it if you want to use it. You can find it by going to your settings, go under the phone section and you will have right at the bottom voicemail, live voicemail actually and you can see right here it gives you an, a description of what it does, view a tran trans transcription of your incoming voicemail in real time so of course you can decide whether you want to answer that call or not if you want to use that make sure you go ahead and enable it from here with ios 17 you will also be able to change the speaking rate for siri so whether you want siri to talk faster or slower you can now change that to do that head on to your settings under accessibility scroll down here and find siri once you go here you will have the speaking rate you can go from 80 percent up to 200 percent which is of course faster 80 being the slowest option of course the default will always be 100 so if you want siri to actually speak a bit faster you can just move the slider a bit forward now apple has done quite a few changes on the settings when it comes to siri and it will have two different options to activate siri using your voice so go to siri go to siri and search here and you will have listen for we will have two options now you can just say siri to actually activate it and you will also have the hey version of it now whether you want to use the hey version or the siri version you can use both of them at the same time but you cannot use only siri if you want to so you will have siri or hey and then you will have hey and then of course there it goes off and you will have the off option as well so if you want to use just a siri command you can enable it from here iOS 17 will also allow you to use Siri when locked. Now, if you try, want to keep actually your iPhone on the standby mode for a long time, if you plan on doing that, then you might want to enable this feature, which actually lets you use Siri even when you're not close to your iPhone and your iPhone is locked. To do that, just make sure you go under Siri and search under settings, and you will have here allow Siri when locked. Make sure you have it enabled right here. With iOS 17, you can also use Siri to hang up a call which is really cool. So if you're on a call, you have your iPhone maybe laying down somewhere on a table or somewhere, you don't want to reach for it to actually hang up a call, you can enable that option by going to settings, Siri and search, and then here we'll have call hang up, go here and make sure you enable that. And then all you have to say is, hey, and then hang up the call and you're good to go. Now here we have another new setting that Apple has actually added with the RC version of iOS 17. Go under sound and haptics and then you will have haptics here and you will have a few different options now. So you will have the option to always play haptics then you can play in silent mode only so when the ringer is off you can go ahead and just play the vibrations and then you can choose to do not play in silent mode or if you want to completely remove the haptics from your device, just choose never play. Moving on to the focus modes, now you will have a new option here for focus. When you go to one of your focus modes and you go to add a filter, now you can add a filter for your mail. Now you can choose here whichever one of your accounts you want to use for this particular focus mode. You select it here and now you will be able to add that to that focus mode. Another setting I suggest you change once you update to iOS 17 is the apps that you get on your iMessage app. Now on iMessage you will get a ton of apps there of course that support the iMessage app but you can disable those by going to settings and then going to iMessage you will find here messages apps and you will be able to actually disable any one of them you want directly from here you will have the switches to just disable any like different app that you need to. If you have an Apple Watch, you need to enable this setting on your device running iOS 17. Go to settings and then go to control center and you will have now a new option here to add a new toggle for the control center. That toggle allows to ping your watch. So there it is, ping my watch. You add it of course to the control center. Anytime you need to find your watch, you can ping it from the control center of your iOS 17 device. Here's a setting that I suggest you turn off, even though it's pretty useful. Now, if you 
give your iPhone to your kids or someone that is way younger. I suggest you keep it on, but if you just use it for yourself, you should just be aware because this actually is quite annoying. It is called like screen distance. You can find it right here under screen time. Screen distance will basically just block the screen of your iPhone if you have it very close to your eyes. I found it actually pretty annoying having it on. It just comes up a lot of times and it just makes it very annoying using your device especially on a darker environment so again if you just use it for yourself make sure you turn this setting off next up is a setting that i suggest you turn on immediately you go to your settings screen time and then you will have here communication safety you will have an explanation here so sensitive photos and videos communication safety enable it right here you can see all the details what is what this is about right here underneath the toggle just make sure you have it turned on Next up, we're moving back to the focus modes. Now, when you go to one of your focus modes, you will have here allow notifications from people and apps. But when you go to options here, you will find a few options and you will have a new one right here, a silence notification. Incoming calls and notifications will be silent while your iPhone is either locked on or unlocked. So you can choose when you want to silent those notifications. You tap right there and you will have while locked or always. iOS 17 allows us to do something pretty cool. Head on to your settings, general, and then go to iPhone storage. And now with iOS 17, this setting right here changes the way the, the storage displays on this section. So you tap right there and you can change to name or a last use so that way you can easier find the apps you're looking for and the apps that are taking more space on your iPhone. Apple has added a really nice feature to the password section on iOS 17. When you go to the password options, you will see here clean up automatically. Make sure you have this enabled. Now what this does is that it deletes the codes that you get via iMessage and now with iOS 17, even the mail app. So you know when you have to verify something, you receive a code, then it shows up on the keyboard, you enter it. Once you enter it, once you use it once, it will automatically delete it from your device. Here's another setting that you can find by going under accessibility and then motion. You will find here play animated images, auto play animated images images. Now what this means is that this will play GIF files automatically on websites in Safari. So if you don't want that to happen, make sure you have this switched off. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more iOS 17 videos and I will see you on the next one.